we just got a special package from Smart Baking Company. It's a limited edition Smart Muffin. And we're going to try it right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So last week, I received an email from Willow over at Smart Baking Company saying, hey, I've got a package coming to you guys. And that is not a sad day when that happens. Yeah, it is absolutely not a sad day. And what it is, it is their new limited edition fall flavor of their Smart Muffins. Now my day just got better. Yeah, now if you haven't seen it, a couple weeks ago, we reviewed their new product. They're called Smart Muffins. I'm going to leave a link for that over Rachel's head. And they're a little bit different than Smart Cakes. I think we also had the Smart Cakes in that video. Yeah, they had like a vanilla latte flavor, yep. which is awesome. But what was the most surprising is if you've had Smart Cakes before, they're kind of like identified by how tiny and cute they are. Right. Then we get their muffins and they're like giant. And of different consistency. Yes, very different. So, it, but good, but just like surprising. Yeah, so we really, really did like those. So she sent us these new pumpkin spice smart muffins. I am so happy right now because there is a lot of like pumpkin spice stuff coming into the marketplace now. And that was something that I thought I was never going to get to have anymore. Yeah, we just recently tried the, the pumpkin spice super creamer from Kai Tu, the super creamer and the super coffee, like incredible, the maple pumpkin. So now I can have muffins and I can have my latte. Like I'm happy. Yeah. So we're going to put this through our five things review. Now these are, again, the pumpkin spice smart muffins. These are actually coming out tomorrow. Happy and day. Uh, you'll be able to order them there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll go over the prices and everything in our five things review. But we're going to put this through our five things review. We can't do it till we taste it. Yeah. So we have one right here. So if you haven't seen the smart cake, the smart muffin, this is what it looks like. Let me go ahead and show you a close up. Look at that thing. Look at all that crystallized sugar or erythritol on top. It is giant. It's like your hand. And let me go ahead. Let's break this in half. That seems like a fair distribution. Which big, which size bigger? I need a scale to see which one's bigger. <laughs> Listen to this. Okay. Oh, wow. That smells incredible. It is super pumpkin. Ooh, and you warmed it a little I bit. I did warm it. Are you I ready? I love that. Yes. Oh my gosh. If you are a fan of the Dunkin' Donuts pumpkin muffin, Welcome back. Wow. This tastes That is like, like that. heaven. That is stinking good. Oh. I'm saving that. That is awesome. There's two more in this box. These are mine. Think again, friend. No. You can have the chocolate chip ones. Think again, friend. Okay. I'm putting mine outside of this so that we distinct, we're distinct. So let's put this through our five things review. Five, five things. things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Yeah, first. Uh, so number one, the ingredients. Now I do want to say, I'm not quite sure if this is the final packaging. This is how they send it to because us. Because it's just like a plain box yeah. with stickers. Yeah, so this could be a sample box or it could be the packaging because it's a limited flavor. So it's just a white box with some stickers on it. So the ingredients in this are their proprietary fiber blend, which is oat fiber, corn fiber, and flax. Then you have eggs, pumpkin puree, which I love that, erythritol whey protein isolate, olive oil, spices, herbs, salt, uh, cellulose gum, monk fruit, and citric acid. Monk fruit. So it has good ingredients. Now yes. I do want to say we have put this through a blood sugar test and they did not increase our blood sugar or anything like that. I know some people are concerned where it says corn fiber, mm -hmm. but it's not like, you know, 
IMO fiber or something like that. I think some people think that that's what it is. Well, and honestly, for ourselves, like we put it through the blood sugar test because it just tasted so good, we didn't believe it. Yeah, and I know there's a lot of people on YouTube who have done the same thing. So the ingredients on this are really good. So number two, does it keto based on the nutrition label? Here we go. Now we haven't even looked at this one, right? There are 94 calories in one muffin. Which is still ridiculously That's low. That's ridiculously low. Six grams of fat. There is uh, 10 grams of protein, 26 total carbohydrates. Okay. 13 grams of fiber. So 13. And 13 grams of erythritol. So nothing. So which makes them zero, zero net, net carbs? carbs. Oh my gracious. So it absolutely does keto based on nutrition label. Now, if you're a total carb person, I, I would believe. definitely be treating it as a treat. Yeah. You know, um, but yeah, it's really good. I probably wouldn't have this for breakfast every morning, even though it's like a muffin and it's remarkably delicious. I'll be having it a couple of times a week at least. Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, so uh, number three, how does it taste? It is so good. We have to put this through the actual test, actually. Oh, are you going to try to dunk it? It didn't fall apart. Wow. It, I have to say, compared to the chocolate chip one, I like this one even better. I mean, it is pumpkin it all is the way through. Pumpkin spice. I definitely think the the warming it up makes it, it was yeah. nice. Good call on that. Yeah. Well, they tell you you should warm it up. And I love the chocolate chip. It, oh, by the way, I've eaten all those chocolate chip ones. Did you really? Absolutely. <laughs> Sorry. Reorder. <laughs> okay. Uh, they taste incredible. They're really they good. They absolutely taste incredible. I mean, they're not like a bad spice. It's a nice spice. No, it's this perfect. Is familiar. Yeah. Like this really does, to me, remind me of those pumpkin um, muffins that I used to get from Dunkin' Donuts that it, the moment they went on sale, I was there. They have the perfect consistency. They just, they taste incredible. Yeah. Okay, so number four, how much do they cost? Here we go. Okay, so it's the same as the, I believe it's the same as the chocolate chip muffins. They oh. haven't sent us anything. Now I've sent her an email to confirm and I will put the price along the bottom if it's different, but the chocolate chip muffins are um, $8.95 for three muffins. So it's $9 so basically like $3. for three muffins. So $3 a piece. So $3 a muffin. That's good and totally comparable to going to your local bakery, going to Panera Bread, going to Dunkin' Donuts and getting yourself a muffin. That's yeah. right there with that pricing. Now we do have a coupon code. It's two crazy ketos. That will get you, I believe, 10% off. There's a link for that down below in the description. Okay, so finally, number five, would we recommend these? Yes. I mean, I thought that I couldn't like like the chocolate chip ones even anymore. I like this flavor even better. Yeah. Like, this is really good. But, you know, I'm a pumpkin spice person. Right. Like, I've always like, wait a second. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you just try to swipe my... You're going to lose a hand, yo, like trying to steal my muffin. Or see, it's not in the screen, though, so they didn't see that part. Gracious. <laughs> Yes, I would absolutely say we're going to recommend these. I will be placing an order tomorrow morning when they go on sale. Well, and if you have like family, like you have children that mm -hmm. might like muffins, you better get two boxes because the kids are not touching these muffins. Like that's not <laughs> happening. So I will buy one box for me. One box for me. And one box for you. Or how about I'll buy a box for me and I'll buy a box for you where you get a muffin and Anthony gets a muffin and Caleb gets no, a no, muffin. No, 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 no. So you're not going to share yours with the kids either? I, I will not. Okay. So, well, that is our video for today. Like I said, there is a link down below. Um, again, this is the pumpkin spice. They also have the chocolate chip. Let us know down below what other kind of muffins do you think they should come up with? Yeah, exactly. I'm going to recommend them. I'm still with banana nut. I want a banana nut muffin. I wonder if there's some way they can do like a cranberry orange or something like that. That would sound really good. Yeah. So. For, for, you know, going into the holidays, that kind of feels like a... A winter muffin. Yeah. So that is our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.